to take the mass, okay? I'm trying to tell you, okay? Fine. Uh, okay, you can stop. Just only this, huh? Uh, you can go to page number 52. In the lab manual, you have the procedure. And if you go to procedure, you have procedure A and B. I'm starting procedure A, okay? Procedure A says preparing standard solution. Step one, you will have a beaker <coughs> and You have to take 0 0.8 gram of the chemical. So here is the sodium hydroxide chemical I have, NaOH. I will take 0 0.8 gram. Okay, in order to take 0 0.8 gram, I just take some chemical into the watch glass and keep my bottle closed. Take a watch glass close to the beaker because the reading is almost zero here and using the spatula take the sodium hydroxide pellet little by little. I have 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.693, 0 0.7 something. Okay, I cannot got, get to exactly 0 0.8. Okay, fine, 0 0.817 gram. So can you record it in your procedure number one? The mass of sodium hydroxide, 0 0.816 gram. 0 0.816 gram. Then what we do is, we go to step number two. Step number two is telling, Add 50 milliliter distilled water into the solution. All of you please observe. Excuse me. Add 50 milliliter of this distilled solution to that one. You can add even more or a little less, no problem. To dissolve this chemical, you're going to dissolve this chemical. How you will dissolve it? You will just use a glass rod. You are making a sodium hydroxide solution. But you know the mass of the chemical now. But the volume is not really accurate. Remember that the beaker has 100 milliliter mark here. If I fill the water up to 100 milliliter, it's not accurate because the beaker is not a good equipment to read the volume accurately. So it is just to prepare the solution only. Okay, I will be moving to the next step now according to the procedure. I have to transfer all this chemical into a volumetric flask into a 100 milliliter volumetric flask okay i have a 100 milliliter volumetric flask and i will transfer this chemical into that one and i will use a funnel for that i will use a funnel for that my hand body can see the funnel <coughs> We'll, we'll keep a funnel here and then we will transfer our chemical. We should transfer all of this chemical. Look at the transferring procedure. Keep the glass rod in a vertical position like this and touch the beaker and then add the solution along the glass rod. See, it's going nicely. This is how we transfer liquid into a, another container. And then 
you will use one hand to hold it like this. And the other hand, you take the wash bottle, add water inside and wash it. So you will wash it, wash the, bureau, the beaker inside two, three times. You know, the idea here to transfer all the chemicals. You are rinsing the beaker. If you want, you can add a little bit water like this and you can mix it, rinse it and the transfer. So this way we can make sure we transfer all the chemicals. And then what we have to do is, we have to add more water to bring it up to the 100 milliliter mark. Bring it up to 100 milliliter mark. Okay. But this way, I cannot stop at the mark. If I add like this, maybe I will go above the line. So what I do, I bring it close to my eye and I can see the line here and I will add the water carefully. Hello. And then I close, I have prepared my standard chemical and just mix it one or two times like this. This is my solution A. This is my solution A. a. What I have here? I know the mass of the chemical, sodium hydroxide from the mesan. I know the volume is 100 milliliter. I know the chemical I put is sodium hydroxide, NaOH. So I know the molar mass. So I can calculate what? The molarity. Then I call it standard solution A. Clear?